I know it's been a long day, everybody, but we got uh, you know lots of more interesting presentations coming up. In this session, in this track, we have uh, Art from Metro joining us from Eindhoven. Uh, you actually heard his company mentioned in one of the talks earlier. I think it was Zuz Micro who mentioned uh, their the work. We we then have Notion System. We have been there. Uh, we have Nagase, we have IDS, and then finally we have Image Expert in this session. And in parallel, as always, there's another session. We're going to do our best to keep on time. Not that we succeed often, but we'll, we'll give it a go. So, yeah, good luck to you. And as always, you know, the audience, please keep uh, your engagement high and ask your questions. And, you know, we love your questions. So please keep them coming. And yeah, good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Kasia. Welcome all to my presentation. Today, I like to tell you about work we have done at Dumicro on power modules with silicon carbide transistors. But before going into this subject, I'd like to tell a little bit about our company, who we are and what we are doing. Dumicro is a company which is very much rooted in flexible hybrid electronics. We are an engineering company based in Eindhoven with about 10 people. Root of the company is very much in inkjet printing and making applications working around inkjet printing. Areas of activity are, for example, micro assembly after the inkjet printing is done, advanced packaging and making products complete and working. Today in the presentation, I will highlight in particular the subjects of micro assembly and advanced packaging, but inkjet printing will come back at the end of the presentation with a few remarks about it. Being an engineering company, we offer services in a couple of different ways, as is shown in the middle of the slide over here. It is research and development. Quite often we are, let's say, in the more early phases of research and development with making demonstrators, making prototypes and helping customers on the way in their research and development activities. Sometimes it can also be consultancy about what to do, for example, with printed electronics and inkjet printing or electronics design. The bottom of the slide shows the application areas in which we are active at the moment or have been active recently. Important for today's presentation are the automotive application area. In a moment, we will talk about power modules with silicon carbide. And as you would expect, these have a lot to do with charging electrical vehicles and driving the motors. We also have activities in semicon, in particular in microassembly with bare dyes and advanced sensors. A few words will be told about that as well later in the presentation. Giving a bit of a look in the place where it all happens, our laboratory. This is our laboratory in the clean room here on the left hand side. We do have print capabilities with inkjet printing. For those who joined uh, the presentation by Dennis Cuppens of Swiss Microtech a moment ago, we have two LP50 inkjet printers as supplied by Swiss Microtech. Here is one of them. We also are working on electrohydrodynamic printing. That was also mentioned in the presentation of Swiss Microtech already, a new generation of printing technology. I will not go into that technology in this presentation, but please be informed. We had a presentation here at the Technic Festival one year ago, which went in some detail about EHD printing. I'm also very happy to answer any question or have any contact with you if you're interested in that subject. Next to the printing, we also have lots of capabilities in the lab for the microassembly, for example, doing dye bonding. This picture here shows a fine placer which we have in the clean room where we can do dye bonding, and we also have done part of the work for the project I talk about today. Also important, of course, is doing the wire bonding. In our company, we have experience in inkjet printed wire bonding. I will give speak a few words about that later in the presentation. And of course, we also have the conventional wire bonding with, for example, aluminum wires. Outside of the clean room, but not less important, is the lab where we can do system integration and uh, testing of what has been made. Going into the power modules with silicon carbide, uh, there are a few specific things which we need to take care of a lot. I will not go into the design of silicon carbide power modules and, and let's see the applications. As you know, they are quite wide at the moment in automotive, in solar and, and other areas. This is very much about how we can do the assembly and the completion of such kind of modules. 
first of course to be taken into account given this application is making the right interconnections both for the electrical as well as for the thermal field. We are talking about an application with extreme currents, extreme voltages, high switching frequencies, so that puts a lot of constraints on how we do the, the electrical interconnection to the outside world. Next to this, because we are talking about power modules, there is a lot to do with dissipation. Even though we work with silicon carbide in this case, there still is a lot of heat being generated. And this is why thermal interconnections play a big role as well. Mechanical support, thinking about automotive, of course we have a lot to do with vibration, with shock. Insulation, for example, because of the high voltages and environmental protection, as with printed electronics, is a big theme here as well. We do have fragile circuitry, which needed to be protected against corrosion, and that was, was part of the project. In a bit more detail about the material properties, which we are taking care of in this application, of course, electrical properties for the materials are important. The picture here on the right hand shows a wire bonded silicon carbide diode on top of a DBC uh, circuit board with wire bonds to a base plate which was next to it. The material properties, of course, conductivity are very important. Uh, also, the thermal properties are important. How does it expand? What is the conductivity for heat? are very critical. With the wire bonds, one of the situations is, of course, the whole module will be encapsulated, in this case in the silicon. There will be frequent heating cycles. The product will be heated if, if for example, you will drive fast, it will cool down if, if the driving, uh, if the car will be stopped. And because of this, products need to be anticipated on lots of expansion cycles. This is why in material selection, we also paid a lot of attention to thermal expansion properties and the mechanical characteristics that result from that. Obviously, with lots of vibration and shock around, things like strength, elasticity, quality of the bonds, robustness over lifetime are important. As mentioned already, chemical properties, for example, in corrosion resistance are critical as well. What have we done for this project? We started with a customer design for a silicon carbide based uh, based uh, charging device and typically we took care of the engineering work which is done with this design. Having the design of course one of the things to pay attention to is the process. Design for the product definitely is not the same as design for the process by which the product can be made. Very important in the application we talk about is the process for die bonding and silver sintering. Here in this picture, we again show the fine plaster which we have in the clean room, in this case while being used for bonding a silicon carbide MOSFET. The screen here shows the silicon carbide MOSFET in top view while it was being bonded to the substrate. With the fine plaster, we can do that one by one, and in that way we can work very well on the laboratory scale. After the bonding, an important step is silver sintering here to get a very good fixation and also a very good heat conductivity. That also took quite some process development work to get the right paste and the right sintering characteristics. But of course we made it. Terminals for electrical connection to the outside world are a critical device in this application because we are talking about extreme currents and extreme voltages. <coughs> Shaping Profiles are important and soldering them to the substrate in the right way was important as well. Here, lots of attention had to be given to, for example, plating to, to the surface layers of the terminals and, of course, to cleaning and pretreatment. Last but not least was the wire bonding and the potting. Wire bonding is a challenging process because we are talking about silicon carbide MOSFETs and in particular the gate of a silicon carbide is delicate, is fragile. There is a thin oxide underneath so it's very easy to damage it. This is why with wire bonding we have to be very careful and pay a lot of attention to process development. Later in the next slide I will come back on that subject. Here we show the result that came out of the work. The picture here shows samples of one of the designs we have made for power modules just after the cleaning step. So they are still open, PCB on the top still need to be mounted. What we can see 
about the project is that processes have been defined and developed and that they enabled us to realize, realize three types of demonstrators with a quantity of 50 pieces each. Important in the project was supply chain coordination because we talk about components which are in scarce supply. As you can imagine, energy transition is everywhere. So the components which are needed for that are very high in demand while the supply chain is still being developed. We have been able to do the project in nine months in total with the engineering approach which was appropriate for it. That brings me to my slide with an outlook. What does this all bring also in the context of printed electronics, which of course is very much the context of the current conference. Do Micro is a company which actually has many of the activities in inkjet printing, for example, for making wire bonds. We have, have a lot of experience with making wire bonds, for example, for bare dyes. That is what is shown on the picture here on the right hand side. This is a bare die. In this case of an IC, which can do temperature logging and near field communication for communication with the outside world. Because of demands from this application, a flexible one with a flexible substrate, we needed a delicate interconnection technology and we have developed an inkjet printing process for connecting this chip to the circuitry. What we see over here, of course, this is the chip with the pads on top. The chip is having face up. We have inkjets printed wires which go over a gentle slope over here to reach the chip on the top. The slope has been developed such that it is compatible with the inkjet printing process. It's what we call a 2.5D process. Inkjet printing by itself is of course three-dimensional, but in this way we make it slightly three-dimensional as well. So far we have demonstrated this technology for bare dyes, for example in this application, the temperature logger on a, on a flexible device. We also have done that for very complex sensors with lots of interconnections to be made. More about that in a separate publication. And we found this is a very attractive process because it is contact, contactless and prevents damage to substrates. Having in mind, of course, the project with the silicon carbide MOSFETs and the gates in it, of course, <clears throat> it seems appropriate to consider inkjet printed wire bonds in that application as well. With the site remark, power modules are a very challenging environment for printed electronics, so it is not an easy go, but worth consideration, and we have it in mind for next steps of this work. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for the nice presentation. Uh, it's a very unique application. That's it. Yeah, one of the special projects we have done. Perfect. So, I mean, so given the high currents and the high powers involved, what kind of materials do you need? And do you think printed uh, wire bonds can meet the reliability requirements? Uh, well, actually, only for, for the interconnections where the, the demand on currents is not that high. For example, the gate drivers. That could okay. be done with, let's say, the more or less conventional materials. It will take a long time before, let's say, printed electronics is sufficient for, for doing, uh, for example, the source and the drain connections, because that's really in the multi ampere region. So that would only be a consideration for the very far future. Hmm. Uh, and would you do these with silver interconnections, like silver connected lines, or do you have other materials in mind? We do have silver in mind for this, okay. for the moment. It's yeah. not to say that we are not considering other materials, but that would be the most straightforward one for us at this moment, given the fact we know the process. Would silver migration not be an issue, given that the currents are very high, or relatively high? Uh, well... We do it, let's say, for those conductors where the currents will not be that high. So we expect that will be doable. And uh, the good thing is also that uh, we can deposit quite a lot. Resolution requirements are not that tough as, as we are used to in other applications. So that will definitely give some flexibility over there. Nice. I mean, you know, silver silver dye attach is already used in power electronics. You know, as you, I think you mentioned, you know, in like silver, even in like Tesla cars, I think they have. Syntax yeah. as, as the die attached there. Indeed. Uh, one question for you is, is the ramp dielectric material inkjet printed as well? Uh, 
it is printed. That's it. It's it. But, but not it's in it. Yeah. It's it. Not standard ink yet. It's it. It's it. Some special technology which we have developed for this. Okay. Well, I, I guess, you know, Philippe, I can get more clarity for you on that one. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Most welcome. It's it. It's yeah. it. It's part of the process which you have developed already for the Berdars to make it possible. Great. Good. So, so thank you so much. Uh, I think, you know, hopefully you can stay around. I know it's late in Europe. I think a lot of our audience also, it's like kind of already six o'clock here, but, but yeah, thank you so much, uh, for, for joining us uh, and for the nice presentation as always. Yes. It's my pleasure. Thanks for joining. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.